The only real hope and change you'll ever get is from God. It's going to come from the Lord or it's not going to come at all. It's going to come when you admit that you can't do it and that you've got to have His help. John saw a beast that came out of the sea. He also saw that a dragon, Satan, gave power to this beast. This beast is the Antichrist. There are many things that John wrote about the Antichrist in Revelation 13. John said that people would worship the beast. This beast represents the Antichrist who is coming in the end. Perhaps you are wondering how one man will be able to control the world so easily that people would bow to him. This man is called the man of sin, the son of perdition, the worthless shepherd, and the prince of darkness. He might just be one man, but he is not alone. He will not work alone, apart from Satan, who will empower him. There are other people he will control. They will be like his wings, they will be his feet, they will be his mouth, and they will be his eyes. They will be everywhere working for him. They are the ones who will strengthen the Antichrist's reign. They are the ones who will make the Antichrist rule easily. After John saw the beast coming from the sea, the Antichrist, he saw another beast coming from the earth. This second beast did not look like the first beast. Revelation 13, 12 through to 14. And he exerciseth all the power of the first beast before him, and causeth the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast, whose deadly wound was healed. And he doeth great wonders, so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men, and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by means of those miracles, which he had the power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth, that they should make an image to the beast, which had the wound by a sword, and did live. The second beast has power, just like the first beast, but it works for the first beast. This beast will cause every man to worship the first beast. In fact, John said this beast would make an image of the first beast and bring life into it. All these things would make people worship the first beast the Antichrist. The second beast is going to perform miracles. It is going to heal people. The second beast represents the false prophets. They are the wolves in sheep's clothing. They are the ones masquerading as an angel of light. They are the armies of the devil. They are the people of darkness. They are in the church today, preparing the way for their master, the Antichrist. Don't wait for the Antichrist to show up physically before you start believing the second beast is already working. The Bible has told us that the Antichrist has sent his spirit already into the world to possess people who will prepare the way for him. Wonder why Antichrist will have a soft landing? The second beast will make that happen. The spirit of the Antichrist is in the world today, and there is nothing you can do to stop it. You can only find ways to escape it and not be deceived by it. 1 John 4, 3 And every spirit that confesseth not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is not of God. And this is that spirit of Antichrist, whereof ye have heard that it should come, and even now already is in the world. The spirit of the Antichrist already entered the world a long time ago. The spirit will not just enter when it's a few years into the emergence of the Antichrist. The spirit did not just enter yesterday. The spirit of the Antichrist entered the world the moment Jesus ascended into heaven. The false prophets have brought false doctrines into the church. They are wiping off the sound doctrine and Christians are also going away from it. The false prophets have powers. Many of them can perform miracles because they need it to deceive people successfully. The Bible calls the workers of iniquity, Matthew 7, 22 and 23. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, we have prophesied in thy name, and in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works. And then I will profess unto them, I never knew you, Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Jesus doesn't recognize these people as his own. If you follow them or allow them to deceive you, you have allowed the spirit of the Antichrist to get to you. You have placed yourself on the path of hell, and you need to run from that dangerous path before it is too late. Many false prophets are out there operating under the influence of the spirit of the Antichrist. The Antichrist has empowered them to start working for him already. That is why the Bible says you must test the spirit. You, as a Christian, cannot go on accepting every spirit into your life. You cannot just let anyone lie to you and make you lose your way. Test the spirit with the word of God. 
Test the Spirit through Christ. Test all spirits. 1 John 4, 1. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits, whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. If anyone tells you not to test spirits because it would mean that you are tempting God, they lie to you. They are from the devil. The Bible says you must test spirits. It means to examine the words of the Spirit and weigh them using the standard, which is the Word of God. God will never change His words. If the words of that Spirit oppose the Word of God, it is the Spirit of the Antichrist, and it is here to prepare the way for the Antichrist. Don't leave yourself open to the false prophets. We are at a time when you need to open your eyes and your mind to the things happening around you. These false prophets are everywhere. You will meet them at some point in your life. They are here to establish the doctrines of demons. They will not do this announcing to you that they are for the devil. They will be the nicest people you ever know. 2 Corinthians 11, 14 and 15 And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their works. Don't make the mistake of thinking that the Antichrist would be working alone. He has an army with him, and they have gone before him to prepare the way. It is the desire of the Antichrist that people don't believe he has started working already. He likes it when you don't know what is going on around you spiritually. There are false pastors, bishops, apostles, evangelists, priests, and many other title holders in the church working for the Antichrist. 2 Timothy 4, 3 For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lusts shall they heap to themselves teachers, having itching ears. One of the things you will first recognize about these people is that they speak anything that will please themselves and the congregation. If the congregation wants to hear that they can commit a particular sin, they will say it. If lies can keep people in the church, they will tell lies. These people are not speaking from the mind of God. They don't have the Holy Spirit. They are always in it for the money or the fame. These people don't care about you going to heaven or hell. They don't speak about hell and warn the Christians because they are afraid people will leave the church. They don't want to know what God wants for them. These people will lead people into hell. You can even see many of them making jokes about hell, and they say things that don't even make sense. They indirectly glorify Satan just to make themselves famous. You need to run from people like this, and you need to make sure you don't listen to them. They don't care if you go to hell or not. They just care about their pockets. They are not people you should follow. The false prophets are not the only ones who will be behind the Antichrist. Demons will be with him too. Familiar spirits will be working tirelessly for him. Spirits from the underworld will take over for him. When the second beast makes an image of the Antichrist, it is by the power of demons that the image comes to life. The demons will be seriously attacking people, making them yield to the demands of the Antichrist. The demons will manifest in many forms. If you look at the world now, you can see the manifestation of demons everywhere, just as these false prophets are doing their works. These demons are doing theirs. They are all working for the Antichrist. That is what will make the Antichrist powerful. If you are consulting mediums, you are placing yourself under the control of these demons. They are winning your soul for the Antichrist. If you are going to sorcerers or fortune tellers, you are putting yourself under the control of demons. They will take your soul for the Antichrist. You must open your eyes to see what is happening now. You must know that it is a dangerous world already. You must understand that the presence of the Antichrist is here already. What the world is just waiting for is the physical appearance. 1 Peter 5, 8 Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. If you cannot identify false spirits, the spirit of the Antichrist, and you obey it, there is a punishment for it. You are a Christian who is expected to be grounded in the Word of God. You are a Christian, and you ought to be strong in Jesus. Matthew 7, 24 and 25. Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine, and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man, which built his house upon a rock. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house. And it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock.
If you build on the Word of God, you are building on Jesus. And when the spirit of the Antichrist comes to deceive you, you will stand strong. The punishment for worshipping the spirit of the Antichrist is eternal. If you allow yourself to be deceived by them, you will face their judgment too. Also in the last days perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers. It takes the grace of God to change us, folks. How can you be saved? if you're not willing to repent. And the Lord Jesus Christ said, except you repent, you shall all likewise perish.